This is about polynomials. So again, combining like terms, super important to know. You've got to make sure you know how to do that. So with that, here we go. Everybody, what, what does it mean for terms to be like terms? Same exponent. What, okay, what else? Yeah, same variables and the same exponents. So again, what are like terms? Let's go ahead and make sure that this is very clear. Like terms are terms that have the same variables and the same exponents. So right over here, same variables, same exponents. And so making it this far in this video, I'm going to go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So if you want to learn more about my program where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that will help you succeed with step-by-step -step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face. Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. Everyone always gets the first one, same variables. It's the second one that it, it, it definitely can become a problem for people if you're, not, if you're not making it a common practice to know your rules before you begin. So everybody, here's what I mean. If we zoom on in over here, okay, let's see which terms are like terms. My party people are these two terms like terms. Well, why not? You guys are saying, no, I mean, I just told you, I told you the rules. We have B for both of them. Different exponents. Exactly. Different exponents. That is the problem. And so because of that, again, these are not like terms. 4B to the power of 4 and the negative or minus 7B to the power of 4, those are like terms. Those are. Because we have the same B and we have the same exponent, the 4 right there. That's what makes these like terms. They have the same variables, letters, and the same exponents. Does that make a little more sense now, especially when I highlight these two as being like terms as well? Same letters, B, same exponents, two. Again, a very, right, a very sincere rule, a very straightforward rule, but if you forget that, could spell disaster, right? Could absolutely spell disaster. So with that, let's go ahead and do our job here. So the four B to the power of four, that's a minus. Remember, everybody, if you have 1 plus 2 plus 3, you can do the 1 and the 3 first if you want to. But if it's 1 plus 2 minus 3, you could still do 1 minus 3 first. Not plus 3. If there's a negative in front of it, you're subtracting it. If there's a positive or a plus, you're adding it. So here, we are saying 4 of the b to the power of 4 minus 7 of those b to the power of 4. What is 4 minus 7, my party people? What is 4 minus 7? And hint, it's the same as 7 minus 4, just the opposite sign. Negative 3. Yes. So that would be negative 3b to the power of 4. Really, really quick, my ASVAB party people. While we continue this video, if you're enjoying it, which at this point, if you're watching, I know you are, please remember to like this video comment your favorite part, and subscribe to the channel. That way you can help us spread the word about helping people raise their ASVAB scores just like we are. Let's keep getting the job done. Let's get back to the video. Appreciate you. And then from there, if we're looking at the green highlight for the other like terms, we have a positive 2b squared, and then we have a positive 4b squared. If we add those two together, if we combine those like terms, what do we get? Six what? Six what? 
Six B what? Yeah, six B squared. I gotta get on you about that, but there it is. That'll be six B squared. And that's our answer. And that shows itself right here with answer choice A. So there it is. Again, a very sincere rule, one of the plenty of rules that exist when it comes to uh, factoring polynomials, distributing polynomials, and polynomials in general. You definitely need to know this and how this works, but there it is. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.